Welcome to part two of Cheney Washington. In this episode, we will continue to uncover the history of this small town in Spokane County. Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Stephanie and I've decided to start a YouTube channel. I'm a part of an active duty military family and currently reside in the eastern part of Washington State. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Peace. Welcome back. In 1889, Cheney acquired a prize that proved to be even more valuable than the county seat. The State Normal School at Cheney, which evolved into today's Eastern Washington University. The origins of the school date back to 1882, when Benjamin P. Cheney, in gratitude for the town's name, gave the town $10,000 to start the Benjamin P. Cheney Academy. The Northern Pacific threw in eight acres of land. A building and grounds were established, but the school failed to thrive. In 1889, when the legislature of the new state of Washington sought locations for three state normal schools, essentially teachers colleges, named after the French for which they were modeled, the legislature chose Cheney as the Eastern Washington location. Cheney won the school partly because the academy building and grounds were ready to use and partly, some believe, as a consolation prize for losing the county seat. If so, it was an excellent consolation prize. After opening on October 13, 1890, with 16 students, the school grew steadily, evolving into the Eastern Washington College of Education in 1937, Eastern Washington State College in 1961, and Eastern Washington University in 1977. It is now an enrollment of more than 13,000 students. Roller skating fever. In the 1880s, the town boasted another surprising institution. The region's first roller skating rink housed in a downtown warehouse. People from the entire region rode the Northern Pacific train into Cheney to try out this novel sport. The young folks used to go down there from the falls on the train in the evening and return the next day, wrote an unnamed pioneer in the reminiscence in the Spokane Spokesman Review. Miss Sadie Bishop was the champion lady skater of that time and won considerable acclaim in that line. The rink was a fad, you might say, a craze for little, big, old, and young had the fever. There was such a demand for skates that many people paid a week ahead of time for them to be reserved. By 1900, Cheney's illusions of being a metropolis had faded, and it seemed content with its lot as a pleasant small town. It boasted a creamery and cheese factory. Cheney is one of the most beautiful and helpful towns in the state, wrote Reverend Jonathan Edwards in 1900 in his Illustrated History of Spokane County. It's clean, lighted by electricity, well supplied with good water, both domestic purposes and lawns. It also has enterprising newspapers, five churches, and a complete public school system. By 1930, Cheney's population was about 2,000, including the students at the normal school. A 1930 story in the Spokane Chronicle noted that while the growth of Cheney has not been rapid, its progress has been substantial. The hub of an agricultural region devoted primarily to wheat farming and dairying the city is the shopping center for a large district, said the Chronicle. Two industrial plants, the F.M. Martin Grain and Milling Company and the Cheney Weeder Company, have been in operation for many years and have made Cheney products widely known.
Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and what I do. I'm super excited to get this thing off the ground. Remember, good things come to those who wait.